Hello and welcome to a video tutorial for matthawkins.co.uk In this tutorial I'll show you how you can stitch together mp4 video files using the free utility mp4 joiner mp4 joiner is available from mp4joiner.org and is available for Windows and Mac operating systems you can also download the source code if you wish to compile it for another platform MP4 Joiner allows you to stitch together MP4 files. The only restriction is they have to have the same video encoding settings applied to them. So they need to be the same resolution, the same frame rate, use the same video codec, etc. So ideally, this is best suited for files that you've um, obtained from exactly the same source or they're files that you've exported from an application using the same settings. Once you've installed and run the application, this is what the interface looks like. It's fairly simple. I'm just going to click the About button just to show you what version I'm using, which is 212. To add your videos, you click the Add Video button. And what you can do here is just browse to and then select your video clips. In this case, I've got three example clips. And by holding down the Shift button on my keyboard, I can select multiple files. And then I'm going to click Open and it will then load those files into the video list after a few seconds. It will summarize the properties of those videos so it shows you the codec, the resolution, uh, the frame rate, so in this case it's an NTSC frame rate, and the aspect ratio, so 16 by 9. All of these properties have to be the same for it to be able to stitch the videos together. MP4 Joiner will join the videos together it won't re-encode them so it will give you a good quality output that's the same as your input however it can only do that if all the properties are the same if your properties aren't the same and you need to stitch the video together you'll have to use uh, more of a traditional video encoder that will actually re-encode all your video but in this case this will give us the best possible quality output now what you can do is you can also use the remove button if you wanted to remove any of these um, videos and obviously you can click the add video button to continue browsing and add in additional video files you click on the first one in order to get your join button enabled however once it's enabled you can click on it it will then allow you to specify an output file which defaults to output.mp4 i'm just going to click save it will then stitch the files together. These uh, video files are quite short, so that doesn't take too long. How long it will take will depend on the speed of the computer you're using. Obviously, longer clips are going to take, take longer to stitch together. You can see here, these clips are roughly 40 megabytes each, so my output file is going to be of the order of 120 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is close that dialog box and switch to my output folder. Here's my output folder, and here we can see the output.mp4 file it's created. If I just highlight that, I can just double check that it's the correct size, it's the same resolution, and the duration of it makes sense as well, because that's the sum of the durations of these files. So it's always good just to double check that that comes out um, at the right length and right size that you would expect it to. Thank you for watching, please take a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe.